Have you ever wondered how some companies become household brands recognizable all over the world? Why is it that some companies inspire so many loyal supporters? If yes, then I have a book that may interest you. Start with why. The story that inspired me the most was about a debt collector company that was doing business in an unusual way. But before we get there, let us have a look at a traditional one. So in a traditional debt collector company, employees calling to collect debt would be rude, insensitive and even verbally abusive. It was a long-held belief that this was the only way to collect debt. When Christina Harbridge joined the company, she was shocked. She wanted to know why the employees who were kind and empathetic otherwise were so mean to the debtors. This gave her a rather radical idea. She decided to create a company that would try to collect debt by showing kindness to the debtors. What I'm going to do today is I'll briefly review the book, invite you to read it, and hopefully one day we'll be able to discuss it together. Let's start with a short summary. The book is divided into six parts. Part number one, a world that doesn't start with a why, talks about some of the common yet unsuccessful marketing techniques. Part number two, an alternative perspective, introduces the theory of the golden circle. Part number three, leaders need a following, talks about people who have found their why and inspire others. Part number four, how to rally those who believe, talks about how we can translate this inspiration into action. Part number five explains what happens when a successful company forgets about their why. Finally, part six is where the author shares his story and explains how he has found his why. Do you still remember Christina Harbridge, the lady who had a widely ridiculed idea of showing empathy to the debtors? In 1993, she founded Bridgeport Financial, her why, the mission of the company, was based on treating people with respect and building a relationship. This mission was reflected in the company values, hiring process and performance incentives. Do you think that this is too idealistic to be profitable? Believe it or not, Bridgeport Financial collected 300% more debt than the industry average. I know that after a tough day at work, reaching for a book can be a challenge. But there are some books that are easier to read than others. In my videos, I grade the books that I read on a scale from 1 to 10, where 1 is a very simple book that you could basically read on a bus, and a 10 would be a much more complicated publication that you want to be well rested for. So, where does Start With Why fit on my scale? I'd give it a 1. The theory that the author introduces is extremely easy to understand, and also the language he uses is very simple. It's basically like listening to a TED Talk. Now, if you've read the book and you enjoyed it, don't stop there. I definitely recommend reaching out for The Tipping Point. This book is going to give you much more nuanced theory, much more data, and a more thorough explanation of why some companies or products become so successful. 